Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about a pen variable activity in Azure Data Factory and Synapse Analytics pipelines. A pen variable activity falls under the control flow list of activities under the Data Factory documentation by Microsoft. So if we go here under the control flow list of activities, here we have the pen variable activities which says it is used to add a value to an existing array variable defined in data factory or synapse analytics pipelines. So if there is an existing array variable, it will add a value to it. And this statement also signifies that a pen variable will only work with the array variable. Why? Because it adds a value. So it should be an array. Multiple elements will be present. Hence, it only works with the array elements. How we have to create a pen variable activity in the UI that is in the portal is demonstrated or is given here in this documentation page. This is what we are going to see in the current video. And here is an important note that the appended variable value does not appear in the debug output unless we use a set variable activity. So in this example, we will be using the set variable activity to see the appended variable value in the pipeline. So let's first quickly see in the whiteboard what we are going to do. Here we are. And here, let's say we have an input folder. And this is a Gen2 folder. Inside this input folder, we have few files. Okay, file one, file two. Okay. And in the example, what we are going to do, we, we are going to connect to this folder and get the list of files using the get metadata activity. Get metadata activity will be the first activity which will fetch us the file list, which will be stored as name. Okay, let's say the file name is f1.txt, so it will be stored. In the same way, it will have other file names. Okay, that is the child items from this folder, input folder location. Next, what we are going to do is we have to iterate through all these files because at the end, we have to make use of the append variable activity to store in a variable these list of files. So we will use next is the for each activity, which is used for iteration. This is used for iteration, which will work on each of these files, each of these child items from this folder. And for each of these files, we will use append variable activity. Append variable activity will be used inside this for each activity. And in order to operate this append variable activity, we have to create a variable at the pipeline level. Okay. And inside the variable, we'll use this item. And in order to display the value of this variable, we'll use set variable activity set variable at last. So get metadata activity, then for each to iterate through each of the items coming from the get metadata activity, then the append variable activity to get these items or the file names appended to a single variable, which will be defined at the pipeline level. And in order to view the items present inside that variable, we'll use set variable activity. So let's quickly go to the data factory and create this pipeline. So let's go here. We are in the data factory. We'll click on the author tab. We'll create a new pipeline with the name as append variable demo. And we'll first use the get metadata activity. But before using the get metadata activity, let's go to the storage into account to see which folder we are going to configure. So let's go to the cloud knowledge storage into account to the containers inside the input container we are going and we'll go to the input files here. There are many files which are present here. We are going to store all these files together into a variable using the append variable activity. So we'll browse up to this location in the get metadata activity. Get metadata activity lies under the general tab with the name as get metadata. We'll take that in the canvas. And here we'll go to the settings of the get metadata activity and create the data set 
for this. So it will be Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Continue. Delimited text. Continue. Let's name this as append variable input link service is already there for that storage into account we'll select that file path let's browse to the file path it's inside the input folder that is the input container inside the input files we have those csvs click ok first row has header import schema none click ok then it will ask us the field list or the argument option so we'll select child items okay which will fetch us the name of the files which are present there so let's execute or perform the debug run up to this level so the get metadata activity is in progress let's click on refresh it succeeded and it has fetched us the child items that is all the csv that is all the CSV which were present at that folder or the container location. Okay. Now this is stored with the attribute name as name. Name is holding the CSVs or the file names. This is what we are going to use in the next activity. So we'll use next is to iterate through each of these files. That is for iteration for each activity in the canvas will connect the output of the get metadata activity to the for each activity in the for each activity will select and go to the settings we'll select it as sequential then we'll go to the items and add the dynamic content here in the dynamic content or the expression builder we will add the get metadata child items which will get which will give us the list of subfolders of the files present in the given folder we'll select that it will be output dot child items file names will be fetched okay done next is the activities what will happen to each of these files so we will click on this edit button and here we will add the append variable activity append variable activity take that in the canvas it also lies under the general section in the append variable activity we'll leave the general tab as is we'll go to the settings and here we have to select the variable and in order to select the variable we have to first define the variable at the pipeline level so we'll go back here in the pipeline and if you click on the white space here you'll get these four options where we have the variable option okay variables option here we'll click on plus new and we'll create a variable we'll name it as file names this variable has to be of type array here we can see that there are three types of variables string boolean and array and we know that append variable is going to append one by one value to that variable that means it only works with the array type of variable so we'll select array and here in the default value will not give anything we'll leave it as blank while execution we will make use of this default value too so let's leave it as is we'll go back in the for each inside the append variable activity and in the settings now if we click here we can see the pipeline variable name appearing here so we'll select this upon selecting the variable name it will open up another option that is value we'll click on this and we'll add the dynamic content here now add dynamic content and here in the expression select the for each activity current item that is the previous activity that is for each of those files what we want to perform so we want to select that item and from this for each item we want the name so it will be dot name so here why we are selecting name if you click ok if you go back to the pipeline and the output here in the name attribute the value of the file name was stored that's why we have selected name okay so here again we are inside the pen variable activity so in the value we have selected item dot name We'll go back to the pipeline. Let's perform a debug run up to this level. The execution started. Let's click on refresh. All completed. So here we could see get metadata activity started. It succeeded. Then for each activity started, it has 
fetched us the item count of 6 that is there were in total 6 CSVs present 6 files were present and then append variable has executed for 6 times okay if we see one by one append variable the variable name is file names which we have defined at the pipeline level then the value is class 10 students or CSV the first one then next is class 8 students or CSV similarly all 6 files values have been stored in this variable now in order to set these values together all the file names together we have to use set variable activity so the set variable activity will take in the canvas right after the for each activity we will connect the output of this to the set variable activity and for this set variable activity also we need to create one variable so here again we'll go to the pipeline and in the variable section we'll create another variable we'll name it as set file names and this will be also of type string we'll go back here in the settings we will select from the drop down set file names variable in the value we'll add dynamic content and this time the content will have the expression from the variables so we'll select the variables tab and we have file names here so we have selected here from the variables list file names append variable activities variable here click ok and now we'll try to perform a debug run let's click on refresh so here we can see that the same happened only thing we have added is the set variable activity if we see the input of this we could see the variable name which we have created new for setting the file names and it has a value array okay which is storing the csv file names all six csvs are stored here which were fetched or which were appended using the append variable activity right now if we go back here to the variable and in the file names which is used by the append variable activity and here we try to give some default value default array value and how we'll give the array value if you give just one two something and try to validate this mapping it will not be validated okay it will say variable value should be a valid array so valid array is given like this okay within double quotes comma separated and square braces so we'll close it and here we'll give the name as let's say x y z comma a b c and close right so this is the value which we have given now we'll try to validate this mapping and perform a debug run this time what happens is that there are two values inside that array variable along with those two variables six other will be stored together so let's see the output in the set variable activity We'll go here and we could see along with these six files, we have these XYZ and ABC also stored here in the set variable activity output. Okay. So this is how we'll make use of the append variable activity in data factory. So this was a small demo on what is append variable activity. Hope you have understood the video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.